what are fertilizers? Fertilizers are substances, which are more commonly known as salts, which restore elements essential for healthy plant growth to the soil. Growing plants require essential nutrients, including compounds which contain the elements nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, NPK. They must also be soluble so that they can be taken up by the roots of the plants. So how do you make fertilisers? There are two ways we learn how to make salts, fertilisers in National 5 Chemistry. The first way is reacting metals with acid. Potassium, which has the chemical symbol K, can react with either nitric acid, HNO3, or phosphoric acid, H3PO4. The second method we could use is the neutralisation of an acid with a base. We can take nitric acid from the Oswald process and we can react that with ammonia solution, which is more commonly known as ammonium hydroxide, from the Haber process. These are the two methods that we're going to look at to produce different salts, which are known as fertilisers. The reactivity series is a list of metals which start from the most reactive to the least reactive. Lead and above react with acids. Now, because we've produced a metal salt, this can be used as a fertiliser. Remember, fertilisers have to contain the elements N, P or K. So the metal that you would want to use to create your salt would be potassium. So if we have our metal potassium and we react it with nitric acid, we would produce the salt potassium nitrate and we would produce hydrogen gas. The formula for our potassium nitrate, which is our salt, would be KNO3. It contains the elements potassium K and nitrogen N. In the next example, if we were to take potassium and react it with phosphoric acid, this would result in the salt potassium phosphate being formed and hydrogen gas. The formula for potassium phosphate is K3PO4 and this fertiliser would contain the elements potassium K and phosphorus P. So what is actually formed in a neutralisation reaction? There are three word equations that we have to know. And these are based off of the bases song. Now remember, bases, bases, they're so great, oxide, hydroxide and carbonate. The first equation that we're going to look at is an oxide base plus an acid will always produce salt plus water, water being our neutral substance. The second equation, we've got our hydroxide base plus an acid, which produces salt and water. These first two equations are the same. The third equation that we have to know is our carbonate base. We always produce salt plus water, but in this case we form a third product which is carbon dioxide gas. If we were to take a hydroxide base, such as ammonium hydroxide, which is made in the Haber process, and we were to react that with nitric acid, which is made in the Oswald process, the name of the salt produced would be ammonium nitrate. We would also produce water as a byproduct. The formula for our salt, which is our fertilizer, ammonium nitrate, is NH4NO3. This only contains the essential element nitrogen N. To take the ammonium hydroxide, which is a base, which is produced in the Haber process, and react it with phosphoric acid, the name of the salt, which is our fertilizer produced, would be ammonium phosphate. We would also produce the byproduct water. The formula for ammonium phosphate is NH4 in brackets times by 3, so we've got three of those, PO4. The essential elements that are found inside this fertilizer are nitrogen N and phosphorus P. Remember, when you're creating fertilizers, they need to contain the elements N, P, or K and also be soluble. The four fertilisers that we've created today all contain at least one of the elements N, P or K and are all soluble. You can check this up using page 8 of your chemistry data booklet. In the next lesson, we're going to compare each of these fertilisers to work out which has the biggest percentage composition of each essential element in the salt. Thank you.